Right, hi there guys. So, like I said, um, I said I was going to actually start doing an awful lot about agencies and about how you can make a lot more money as agencies. And one of the things that's come straight away to mind is, well, obviously restaurants. Now, the reason I'm going to use restaurants, firstly, you can trans anything that I say about restaurants, you can take straight away to another marketplace. Now, one guy I know already has taken what I said about restaurants and started putting that towards um, farmers markets and things like this. Now, there's realtors, there's chiropractors, absolutely all sorts of different people out there. But restaurants kind of cover it fairly fully because, <clears throat> firstly, if you look around just in a Google search for restaurants near me, you will find hundreds of restaurants. It, maybe it's not hundreds, but you're going to find an awful lot of restaurants, which means you can go in and you can actually talk to the manager. Now, the reason why I want to go in and talk to the manager is not to try and go in there and sell to them, right? And sell them. I'm going to come through a fair few different methods in these future posts but if you go in and try and sell to anybody be it restaurants or anybody else what's going to happen is they get tortured god knows how many times a week by agents who's trying to sell them stuff that they don't really need now another important point is that a lot of restaurants aren't actually doing the basics a lot of businesses aren't doing the basics they aren't using social media or email marketing which is massive for you guys right now i know social media marketing has kind of had its day and fell off a little bit but if you're trying to push a restaurant and you're trying to use all these different methods to get people in these restaurants such as birthday bots such as wi-fi um, promos such as sending out promotions for the restaurants and all the rest of it if you're using all these different methods and they aren't using social media correctly all those methods are just going to basically fall down you're not actually going to be able to make the restaurant any more money so what we want to do is we want to actually we want to facilitate so that the restaurants are beginning to dominate their social media marketing. Now, there's a fair few ways you can do this. Firstly, you can do a complete done with you. Now, that's running an agency. Now, done with you would mean that you would go out and you would do all of these different tasks. All right? Now, there's a couple of advantages and disadvantages to everything that we're going to do. So, if you're going to do a complete done with you, then what's going to happen is you can only take on a certain amount of clients for you to be able to service all of these clients well and actually get the clients the results that they want. So, what you need to do is that way, you need to be able to price yourself and make yourself an offer. Now, I keep on going about these offers. Don't worry, we're going to be diving into offers as well. Um, but you need to make an offer where you are offering a unique service, right? Where nobody else can come in and take away your service. Now, you can do that via the software that we use. And we do that via the various different things that we're going to go through, which is going to make you unique and make it so that you can't be beaten on price, right? It also means you can charge an awful lot more because the last thing you want to do is be stuck with maybe 20, 30 clients per month and you can't update, you can't take on any more clients or you're not making enough money. Now, there's a lot of agencies who's already got 20, 30 clients and they're not making an awful lot of money because they go on rock bottom prices. And there's only so low you can go before you start losing money. Whereas if you go upwards, there's always going to be plenty of people there who can afford to pay a higher price for a better service. If you've offered a service that's better than what you else can offer and you've got guaranteed results, that's another way of doing it. Now, it's also done with you. Now, done with you means that you can take on an awful lot more clients, you can still charge good money, um, and you can basically guide them through on how to do it. So you can show them how to do a certain amount of posts, you can show them how to do this, show them how to do that, and you can make a complete service for those people. Now, this is something that you could either offer once you get talking to somebody and you quote your prices for agency services and they say, well, that's a bit high. Well, we do have another service and what we can do is we can do it with you, which means we can guide you all the way through and we can show you exactly what to do, right? Now, obviously that's gonna be a huge discount thing. And what you could say is you could offer one live um, Facebook chat or Zoom chat per week with these people and you're going to take them through the next week's plans, right? It's really that simple. Lastly, and one that is lovely because you can just scale as high as what you want to do, is the complete do-it-yourself. Now, the do-it-yourself, they go out, they do all the marketing. You have something that shows them what to do, but you aren't involving yourself on a personal call. Now, this would be the likes of selling, well, going out and selling chat ammo um, for either, if you've got agency accounts, um, you can either sell them as an agency. I would always suggest selling SaaS as a service because even if they are going to get rid of you as an agency, they're still going to keep on the SaaS software, 
which means where most agencies are falling down and losing clients altogether, you're going to be able to keep the clients because they want that software. They want the software that they've built up and got all together. So let's just go through this um, marketing user agreement. The reason why we're putting an agreement together, because the last thing you want to be doing is do more work than what you've originally agreed for. We've all done this in the past. We said, yeah, and we haven't really laid down any ground rules. And in the end, we start working so hard for one particular client that we've got no time for anybody else. So we're going to tell them what the goals are. So the goals are drive engagement, nurture email audience, and drive sales with monthly promotions. All right. Um, we're going to do this through a variety of social media ads that drive customers in the market and funnels designed specifically for the markets that you select, right? So particularly for a, an area, if it's a restaurant or if it's a real estate agent or something that's more of a local market. So what you're going to do is first off, Facebook optimized, optimizing the page, right? So you're going to go in, optimize their page. And this is going to mean they're going to be posting daily, um, which remember you can automate completely on chat ammo. You're going to respond to page comments, which again, you can do straight away through chat ammo. Um, you can go do a monthly content calendar. That's going to have to include some work of yourself. You're going to do a page review responses. So if somebody leaves a review, you're going to go in there and leave a couple of lines about how great um, that they are for leaving a nice review for you. Um, and any additional complimentary ads that they might want to run, you're going to quote at a minimum <clears throat> of £50 per week, $50 per week, and charging a minimum of $50 per ad creation. Now, as you know, ad creation doesn't take too long. It's very, very simple. You can get all the bits and pieces that you need from Canva. Um, you can even, if the local restaurants go out and start charging for videos and all the rest of it, we're not going to get into that today. Now then, you've also got email marketing. Now, not a lot of restaurants are doing email marketing, but remember, while we're going capturing everybody's details, we have the full email marketing built into our chatbot. So it would be stupid not to offer email marketing. It still returns good results. It's still very offhand, and we don't need to be on top of it all the time. And we can offer things like one newsletter per month, one new menu campaign per month, one monthly promotion, um, and we'll also sign you up with ChatAmo account and an active campaign account. Now, both of these accounts, sign them up through your affiliate um, links. That means you're going to get paid via affiliate programs and also means you're going to get paid via the people who you're helping. Right? So both ways, you're on a win-win. Right? It means you start getting different forms of income coming in and everything's all good. Now then, next we're going to go into the restaurant social media marketing opportunities. Right. So, we have Facebook, obviously. Um, so, Facebook, we can start niching down, we can start targeting, we can start posting every day and start getting Facebook interactions. Remember, we're going, to be con we're going to be commenting on people's comments and we're going to be sending them reply DMs. The reason why we're doing this is because we're going to build up a massive email list for those both inside of Facebook and Instagram, which means we're getting away from the algorithms, we're taking them off the algorithms into more of our ecosystem where we can start controlling their customers and getting them more work. At the end of the day, if you're not making these people any more money, then you really shouldn't be doing this job because um, it's terrible, but you will be making them a lot more money. Don't worry, we're going to go through everywhere how. Right, next you've got your LinkedIn. Um, your LinkedIn, you can still localize it a little bit and you can start adding friends on their LinkedIn pages that are in the local area, right? And people who want to come in and entertain in their particular establishments. Or if you're going for real estate agents, we can take on restaurants. We can start using restaurants and say, right, okay, well, this realtor needs a restaurant to come and take people to. How would you feel for it? Right, and we can start advertising like that. And obviously, if you've got a restaurant talking about your realtor, it's going to help an awful lot more as well. And you've got Twitter, right? Now, Twitter, I don't bother with too much, but it's a nice, simple one that you can just post things up on. And still, quite a few people use it. I don't know why, though. Um, so, they're going to have daily posts on all of those. Now, you're going to respond to post comments. You're going to respond to page messages. You can build them a basic bot. And you can help them get reviews. All of that is all within inside chat ammo. So, you've got everything already there. Now, you're going to respond to reviews as well on Facebook, Yelp, Twitter, um, TripAdvisor and Google. And what you're going to need, you need, um, well, I've got that one. Now, next is what you actually need from them. So, you need photographs, massively important. You need about us, the content that they're going to want on there. So, a little bit of blurb about us. If you're doing the menu, you're going to need um, all the menus that 
Ideally, I would just get them so you can copy and paste them. So if you're bad at spelling like me, it turns into an absolute nightmare. And these are all things that you can be doing all of the time. So this is the basic offering, what you could offer almost anybody. Remember, this is done with you, done for you, or do it yourself, right? So you have three different alternatives, all in the way to get these restaurants interested in what you actually have. So, hope this has helped, and speak soon in the next one. Cheers.